Hello everyone, this is Aida Qolami from Agrimat Soft Research Company and in today's video I'm going to teach you how to analyze multiple variable regression in Excel. So as you can see here I have some data. Let's see what they are. So I have exercise, smoking and heart attack. You can see I have data related to each of them. So um, as we know, regression model is used when you want to know the relationship between independent variables and dependent variables. So you want to know how can each uh, independent variable affect the dependent one okay so in the previous video on regression analysis in excel i was talking about one variable regression model and analyzing it so here i have uh, i'm talking about multiple uh, variable regression so what it means is that simply instead of one independent variable you have more than that you have two or three or more independent variables which are affecting the dependent one okay so now here you want to have the equation of regression model and analyze it so let's get right into it so uh, as i was talking about it we know that exercise can decrease the heart attack of course because it's more healthy and stuff and smoking we expect to increase the heart attack okay because it's a, it's a bad habit and it's uh, it can be um, so much bad for our health and other things so what we will do is that we just head into data tab and we get into data analysis and here we go for regression okay so i click okay and here as this window window opens up i go for input as input y range which is heart attack okay i select it again and then i have x ranges and here you just don't need to do anything special but to select the two um independent variables okay so you just get the all range and these two of course should be um next to each other okay so so here you want to check the labels button so that it gets the labels and then um, in the analysis you know um, each parameter or each result is for which variable specifically okay so that's for that place and here in confidence level you can um, check it and change it to whatever you want but for me is now okay so i go for output range as in here as it's selected um before and i hit okay so you can see it, this table is shown right now summary output regression statistics is the first actually table so multiple r if you have watched the previous video you know all of them but for you who did not uh, watch that i will explain again so for multiple r it's it's the r itself okay it's the r which could be from minus one to plus one and it indicates the strength of the relationship okay so when it's minus one and uh it's in the negative side it means that the relationship is um adverse okay so it means that it's something like this and as it's y 
and here is x it means that it means that as x goes up dy comes down okay so they have adverse um relationship but positive uh, positive uh one so this is for minus one okay it's the strongest relationship in the min in the negative way so it's the strongest adverse relationship so here for positive one we have something like this we know that as y goes up x directly goes up so they have direct relationship and when it's positive one we know that they have uh, the strongest positive uh, direct relationship okay so that's r and r square the name is on it okay so it's it's simply r r square okay something you have seen a lot maybe and it's um also positive so it's the it's the squared of this multiple r in here and it, it's always always positive of course and here the numbers are showing that there is a strong correlation okay so we know that from the results and we know that from from these numbers we can maybe understand that from independent variables we can significantly uh, estimate the dependent one okay so then we have adjusted r square uh, as we mentioned before in the previous videos we know that adjusted r square adjusts itself based on the depend independent variables so maybe it means that if you just throw a bunch of useless independent variables it gets the r square down okay so it can if it cannot help for estimating the dependent variable then it gets the r square down and um it makes it worse then we have the standard error which is the distance between the model regression model line to the real uh, numbers so it's the difference between the modeled number and the real number and then we have the number of observations of course after that we get to ANOVA table so um what it has for us okay it's the regression residual in total so in here we have degree of freedom and then we have sum of the squares uh, and then we have mean squares okay for these two maybe you could get back to the ANOVA ANOVA video that I have made and I have clearly explained them there but but for now we know that this sum of the squares is sum of the all variations which is in the data which are covered by regression and here is the sum of all the variations which is not covered by the model and are the residuals and then this mean of squares is simply sum of squares divided by degree of freedom and then this f statistic is the mean of squares for regression divided by residuals okay so that's the f statistic and then another thing that i just wanted to tell you in here if you want to have the r square from ANOVA table all you need to do is to divide the regression sum of the squares by the total sum of the squares and that actually matches with the logic we have for r squared which is we want to know how much of the total uh, data is covered by regression and that's the r squared this is the capability of the model um, efficiency criteria so that's exactly that number 
then we have we I, I mentioned that we have the f statistic in here and then we have significance f uh, okay so this significance f is basically the p-value for f statistic in here it's zero and it's a little bit weird because um i don't know how much of this results could be reliable but maybe in here with in your um actually calculations maybe you do not get zero commonly you get some numbers uh which could be so low and then you would compare the significance f which is the p-value you would compare this with alpha which is five percent in here okay so when this significance f is lower than alpha it means that your your results are significantly show you that these independent var uh, variables are actually uh, so much effective on the dependent ones okay of course in the ANOVA test itself it has a little bit different meaning it means that when when this p-value is so low it means that it means that between the levels and factors there is a significant um, difference but in here we can interpret it a, as the uh, significant impact of independent variables on the dependent one if this significance f is more than your alpha maybe you should know that these independent variables are not of that much importance and maybe you should change them okay so you may study on uh, different independent variables then we get to our main table that we want to get from multiple regression analysis in excel what it can tell us is first of all the intercept so the intercept in regression is basically graphically it means if you have this regression line and you have your data something like this this is this is the intercept okay so this is the intercept and for the equation you have you have y equals beta 0 plus beta 1 x1 plus beta 2 I'm sorry beta 2 x2 and so on and so forth in here beta 0 is the intercept okay so that's what we need in order to have our equation our um, regression equation okay so that's the intercept for you then you can see your independent variables exercise and smoking as we expected exercise has negative impact on heart attack what it means it means that whenever you exercise more you get heart attack less and again as we expected smoking has positive impact on heart attack it means that whenever you smoke more you get heart attack more so they have direct relationship so then here let's get to write the regression equation here so what we have is y or heart attack okay let's say the equation is y equals to intercept which is 14 point nine minus 
zero point two x one plus zero point seventeen x two. Okay, what it means? It means that heart attack uh, equals fourteen point nine minus uh point two x1 which is exercise plus point seventeen um times x2 which is smoking so another interpretation for this this intercept it means that whether you exercise or not or smoke or not you still have 14.9 chance of getting a heart attack so it means that so if we just make these two zero as a normal human being we always have 14.9 percent maybe or whatever the units in here are 14.9 percent of getting a heart attack so then you have the t statistic and p-value related to that t statistic in here also we get p-value of zero as i mentioned before maybe this zero is not that much common but here it means that um, exercise and smoking uh, so for smoking we have um, also a very low p-value it means that these two independent variables are having a significant effect on the independent uh, the dependent one so then i guess that's it for today's video and i hope you learned something new please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel i will see you in the next video and bye